time for us to go sailing, sort of, with Luke Burbank. The year was 1955, and the Wappen von Hamburg had just started its life, ferrying tourists from Hamburg, Germany, to the island of Helgoland in the North Sea. So how the heck did that ship end up here, six decades later, on a river near Stockton, California, surrounded by blueberry fields? I was actually uh, surfing on Craigslist um, one day, and this thing popped up, and it kind of piqued my curiosity. Chris Wilson is the Wappen's current owner, although these days it's been rechristened Aurora. Do you remember what the ad said? Actually, it just said uh, classic cruise ship for sale. My intent wasn't even to get involved with this. Wilson, a former software developer, says initially he just wanted to shoot some video of the inside of the ship. My idea was to do a virtual tour of the ship, not, not, not to buy the ship. <laughs> but something about the boat intrigued Wilson, so much so that he ended up bailing it out of some legal trouble it was in, towing it to various locations, and eventually paying, he says, around $800,000 for it, making him the owner of a piece of maritime history, and also a lot of trash. It was full of garbage. Every single room, household garbage, cups, cans, mattresses scattered all over the place. It was a disaster. It was about this time that Wilson sprang the news on his then new girlfriend, Jin Lee. Some of the doors are open, but I don't even dare to look inside because, you know, you see so much horror movie. You don't know what's going to be behind the door or what's in the room. I said, I don't know about this boat. I don't know what this guy's doing. Thanks God we were just dating. But together, slowly, painstakingly, they got to work restoring the ship. With some parts, like the lounge, looking good. We do things like movie night in there. It's just a comfortable place. And other parts looking, well, less good. Going up into the wheelhouse of the Aurora, which is pretty ugly. The wheel was looted out of here. You know, we have an idea of where some of these things are at, but getting them back is, I think, going to be kind of an impossible mission. Stripped to the bone and left to rot, Aurora is a survivor with a storied past. Credited as an inspiration behind the hit 70s TV show, The Love Boat, Aurora also made an appearance in a James Bond film. When you look at her, you see those curves, her superstructure, her bow, her stern. She's a beautiful creation, and she's so lucky to still be around. Every ship of her generation pretty much is gone. Peter Canego would know. He's an ocean liner enthusiast, maritime historian, and collector. He knew of the Aurora's history long before it showed up on that Craigslist ad. This was one of the Because he's got a particular passion for all things mid-century and nautical, which would explain why his home in Oceanside, California, right here, this little pup, is a sort of living museum. Is the Wappen von Hamburg, which later became the Aurora. Wow. So you can see her, and these are all in scale. So this would be her next to the Titanic, here with the four stacks. Amazingly, Aurora is one of the only remaining mid-century ships still afloat. The rest either sunk or were turned into razor blades, literally. We shave with them, canned green beans, cars are made out of them, rebar. They're, they're all recycled into uh, new forms of existence. So when they talk about turning it into razor blades, that's not just a figure of speech. No, <laughs> unfortunately, no. Then we'll actually start rebuilding Thanks the to a mostly volunteer crew and now a popular YouTube channel, Wilson's hope is to turn the ship into a floating hotel, or maybe even a museum. We are on the A deck. Anything that will keep it from going to the scrapyard. And thankfully, he's got Jin Lee, who, incidentally, he also met on Craigslist, along for the ride. Now I feel the boat is bringing a lot of people together, brought me and Chris even tighter, and brought a lot of interesting people, you know, the local people, the people from Facebook and social media. And I think there's more and more people going to say, well, maybe sometime a small guy has a big dream wasn't a bad idea. 